Hey everyone, welcome back to the AI Guide. Today we're diving into the latest developments surrounding OpenAI's upcoming model GPT-5. From confirmed details to anticipated features, let's explore what GPT-5 has in store for us and its impact on jobs. So GPT-5 has been confirmed. It's not just a rumor. It's an open project at OpenAI. According to Sam Altman, GPT-5 is set to integrate various technologies, including the O3 model, into a unified system. The O3 is the latest reasoning models. So what are they working towards? Unified intelligence. OpenAI aims to simplify its product offerings by unifying the GPT and O series models. GPT-5 will be a system that knows when to think deeply or respond quickly, adapting to a wide range of tasks. So right now in 4.0, for example, you have to pick search or deep research, etc. GPT-5 will automate that process. So GPT-5 will be massive scale. While the exact parameters are not officially confirmed, reports suggest GPT-5 will have between 3 and 5 trillion parameters. This is a very significant increase from GPT-4's 1.7 trillion parameters. The increased scale aims to enhance the model's capabilities across a variety of tasks. So what will those capabilities be? Well, first, multimodal. GPT-5 is expected to handle text, voice, and images seamlessly, providing a more integrated user experience. Advanced voice mode updates are anticipated, building upon the impressive GPT-40 voice features. So what's the release timeline? OpenAI has indicated that GPT-5 could be released within weeks or months, with expectations pointing towards a launch in the latter half of 2025. This release aims to coincide with major tech events, potentially positioning GPT-5 as a significant advancement in AI technology. Of course, there was some speculation that GPT-5 might be an AGI. So then the logical question is, greatly enhanced capabilities, what does that mean for jobs? Well, what have we seen already? We've seen impact to marketing jobs. We've seen impact to coding jobs. And we've seen impact to research. Expect those impacts to be amplified. It's not unreasonable, really, to think that GPT-5 might disrupt most current marketing functions. So if you're in marketing, I would start to explore other careers. One of those that's highly logical from marketing is sales. Why? Because marketing is the step in customer acquisition before sales. Sales won't be automated for a while. So this is a great segue from marketing into a more AI-resistant career path. What are some other probable impacts from GPT-5? Well, if you're doing legal research, your job is going to shift from actually trying to find source materials to making sure that GPT-5's output is correct and supported by precedent in the jurisdiction that you work in. So as a paralegal, for example, you would almost be moving more towards lawyer type tasks and away from more basic research type tasks. Finally, what if you're an administrative support staff person? I really suggest that you start finding something else to do because with something like GPT-5, so much of what an admin assistant did two years ago will have been automated. So you really want to find something else to do for your career. I've made a number of videos that are designed to help you transition a career. Look one of those up. It'll walk you step by step through the career change process. But one thing we do know, GPT-5 will be a major step towards full agentic automation. And that ultimately 
five to 10 years from now, starting five years from now, no more than that will seriously start to impact employment in a major way. So thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest developments in AI with a focus on its impact on you and your career. That's why this channel exists. So take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.